Hi everyone, today we are going to make a stunning stylized environment in Unreal Engine. I will walk you through each setup to bring this environment to life. So please watch till the end, it really helps me reach my YouTube watch time goal. Without any delay, let's dive in. First we can have to create new blank project so for that I have selected the blank template and you can change the project location from here and you can name your project in this tab and then hit create. After creating a project as you can see we have this default level but we are not going to use this one so we are going to have to create new level so for that we are going to go to file and new level and I am going to select the empty level and then hit create. As you can see we have complete empty level so first we are going to have to create our lightning setup so for that we are going to go to window and as you can see we have this environment light mixer just click on it and then we just going to create sky light, atmosphere light and sky atmosphere, volumetric cloud and height fog. Then we are going to close this tab and then make sure to save everything. We are going to save our new map with the name of underscore main then hit save. Ok so first we are going to create landscape so for that we are going to go to selection mode and we are going to click on this landscape tab and then over here we are going to change our section size so we are going to change the landscape section size from 63 multiply 63 cores to let's say 15 that looks great just hit create as you can see we have this sculpt brush so I am going to decrease the size a little bit you can increase or decrease the tool strength and I'm gonna sculpt my landscape little bit over here. Okay, so after sculpting the landscape, then we're gonna select our smooth tool, just like the smooth tool, and we're gonna smooth our landscape just like that. It looks great for now. Now we're gonna select our sculpt tool again, and then I'm gonna increase the strength little bit, and then we're gonna hold shift and sculpt in this area just to create our river. Now we are going to select the smooth tool and I am going to decrease the tool strength and then we are going to smooth this river little bit. Now we are going to go to selection mode and make sure to save everything. Now I want you to open the epic game marketplace for the assets. There is a shortcut to open the epic games marketplace so further we are going to click on this place actress panel and here you can see the unreal marketplace just click on it. Now in the marketplace we are going to search stylized and then make sure to select the free filter. And as you can see we have this stylized nature pack for free. You just need to download this pack and add it to your project. Just like that select the project and add to project. And also you are gonna have to download this one stylized fantasy. Both of these packs are around 600 megabytes. It's so easy to download them. Then we have just one asset pack that we are gonna add. So for that you are gonna have to search mountains. As you can see that we have these landscape backgrounds. Just click on it. Make sure to download them and add to your project. I'm gonna add them to my project just like that. Okay, so after importing all the assets, then we're gonna open our content browser. For that, we're gonna hold Ctrl and press space. As you can see, I have this photoreal backgrounds, stylized PPR nature. Now we're gonna apply material to the landscape. So for that, we're gonna open our stylized PPR nature. Just double click to open it. Then we're gonna open terrain folder. And as you can see that we have this landscape material. Just click on it and then select the landscape and in the details panel of the landscape scroll down a little bit and over here you can see the landscape material we just gonna click on this arrow now you can see that the material is completely pitch black that's because this material is in multiple layers so we gonna have to apply a manually layer whichever we like so for that we gonna go to landscape mode just click on selection mode then we gonna go to landscape and then in the paint section here you can see that we have layers so as you can see that the first one is grass underscore zero one, grass underscore zero two, dirt and rock. So this is our main material. So we're gonna apply this grass underscore zero one to the landscape. So for that, just we're gonna click on this none and then select this grass underscore zero one layer info. And as you can see that the material has been applied. Now you might notice this repetitive tiling. So we're gonna fix that. Are there just open the content browser? and double click to open the landscape material and over here hold M and press left mouse button for the multiply node 
and then we gonna hold U and press left mouse button for the texture coordinate and then hold S and press left mouse button for the parameter. I'm gonna name this parameter tiling and the default value will be 0.1. Plug this in B and this one into texture coordinate and then plug the multiply into UVs of these textures. Then we're gonna hit apply and close this tab. As you can see there's a huge difference now. Now we're gonna save everything. Now we're gonna go to landscape mode again and we're gonna go to manage tab and we're gonna click on this add button and over here I'm gonna add some more components to the landscape just like that. That looks great then we're gonna go to selection mode then I'm gonna open content browser and now I'm gonna open this folder and then meshes and over here you can see that there's a lot of assets so I'm gonna use this one SM house underscore zero one just place it over here I'm gonna rotate it like that that looks great then I'm gonna add this one over here that looks great now we're gonna scroll down a little bit and over here we have this SM house underscore main I'm gonna place it over here and then again we're gonna scroll down a little bit and we have this uh, SM underscore water wheel. just drag and drop this then we're gonna add windmill so for that I'm gonna select uh, this one and also this one just drag and drop this over here and I'm gonna select this fan just grab it up here just grab this fan in Y axis over here that looks great select both of these and put them over here looks great now we're gonna add river so for the river first we're gonna have to add plane I'm just gonna go to place access panel and then shapes plane scale it up place it over here and then place it down as you can see this is our river let's apply material to the river so for that I'm gonna open content browser then we're gonna go to materials and scroll down a little bit and then over here you can see we have this water master material just select the material then select the plane and in the details panel of the plane as you can see we have this materials tab we just gonna click on this arrow as you can see that the material looks great now we're gonna place background mountains to add extra depth to our environment so for that we're gonna open this photoreal backgrounds folder just open it and then in the meshes we gonna select this static mesh filter you can enable this filter from here as you can see we have this static mesh filter I'm just gonna enable it and then over here we have all the static meshes and over here you can see that we have background mountains D underscore 4 so I'm just gonna use this one just drag and drop and scale it down a little bit rotate it then we gonna scale it on Z axis like that looks great now we now change the material of this mountain so for that we gonna open our content browser then we gonna open this folder and then materials I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and here you can see we have this uh, top underscore planner just select the material then select the mountain and in materials tab I'm gonna click on this arrow looks great make sure to save everything now let's just duplicate this mountain and place it over here now let's start placing them all over the background. As you can see I have placed all the background mountains and they looks great. Now we're gonna make path over here. So for that we're gonna go to landscape mode and then in the paint section I'm gonna select this grass 02 material and then click on this none option and then we're gonna select our grass 02 layer info. Now I'm gonna decrease my brush size. Now let's start painting this material over here. As you can see it looks great now we're gonna go to selection mode. I think it's time to paint the foliage so for that we're gonna go to foliage mode. As you can see we have foliage mode over here just click on it. We can drop our foliage over here then we can paint the foliage. So for the foliage just open the content browser and we're gonna go to nature pack and foliage, foliage types. As you can see we have this grass, bush and also this fern. So first we're gonna use our grass just drag and drop this I'm gonna close the content browser then 
enable the grass just click on this check mark then we're gonna select the grass and we're gonna change some settings i'm gonna increase the density a little bit like that you can also increase or decrease the size if you want i'm gonna change the scale to something like 0.7 you can also change the brush size density if you want to raise it just hold shift and raise everything just like that now let's start painting the foliage i'm also gonna make a path over here i'm gonna go to landscape mode paint and i'm gonna select the grass 02 and i'm gonna paint over here and make sure to turn off this static mesh filter as you can see the grass looks great now we're gonna change our foliage type so i'm gonna select this uh, fern foliage type let me just deselect the grass and drag and drop this fern over here just enable the foliage type this one and everything looks great now we're gonna paint it i'm gonna paint it over here yeah that looks great Okay, so after painting this foliage, now I'm gonna deselect this one and then I'm gonna open the content browser. Then I'm gonna go to nature pack and here you can see the rocks folder. Just double click to open it and then we're gonna go to assets and I'm gonna select some of these rocks just like that. Maybe this one, also this one. Just drag and drop them over here. Then we're gonna select all of them and I'm gonna decrease the density a little bit to something like two and also I'm gonna decrease the paint density. Now I'm gonna paint these rocks all over the landscape. Okay, so after painting these rocks, as you can see the environment looks beautiful. Now we're gonna paint trees. So for the trees, I'm gonna just deselect all of these rocks just open the content browser then we now go to foliage folder then assets or maybe foliage types and over here we have bunch of these trees first we're gonna paint these trees so just select all of them and drag and drop them over here select all of these trees and enable it and then we're gonna start painting them just make sure to increase the density a little bit and also make sure to disable this align to normal just like that Make sure to enable the static mesh filter then paint all over the mountains. Now we're gonna change our trees so just deselect all of these trees and I'm gonna open the content browser and let's select this one and this one and just drag and drop them over here just enable it. Okay, so after painting these trees, now I'm gonna go to assets and as you can see over here we have some of these extra trees. I'm just gonna drag and drop them over here. Now we're gonna save everything from here. Just click on this unsave button and save selected. Okay, so it's time to do the post process work. Now for the post process work, first we're gonna have to add post process volume. We're gonna go to place actress panel and then visual effects and post process volume by selecting the post process volume in the details panel we're gonna search infinite and we're gonna enable this infinite extend unbound just enable it then we're gonna close the search in the exposure section we're gonna enable the metering mode and exposure compensation and we're gonna change the auto to manual then we're gonna change the compensation value to something like 10 okay so 10 looks great as you can see in the color grading section we can also change the saturation if you want I'm gonna change a little bit something like 1.1 you can also add motion blur if you want but I'm not gonna do that okay so for now we're gonna leave the post process volume then we're gonna scroll down a little bit and over here we have this volumetric cloud just select the volumetric cloud in the layer section we're gonna increase the layer bottom altitude I'm just gonna max it something like 20 now we're gonna change the position of the sun so for that hold ctrl L and rotate the mouse like that to control the sun i'm gonna place it right about here as you can see the environment looks really beautiful now we're gonna open our content browser and then we're gonna go to 
stylized fantasy folder then in particles here we have this wind trail particle system just drag and drop this over here i'm gonna change the position of this right about here now let's add camera to render our shot so before adding camera first we're gonna have to add level sequencer so for the level sequencer we're gonna click on this icon over here just click on it and add level sequencer and then we're gonna save here now we're gonna add camera so for the camera go to place actress panel and over here we're gonna search camera and here you can see the cine camera actor just drag and drop this over here i'm gonna set the angle for the camera so right about here then just right click on the camera and then snap object to view then just drag and drop the camera into the sequencer like that now we're gonna do camera settings so for that make sure to select the cine camera actor and then enter details panel we're gonna change the film back from digital film to dslr and then also we're gonna change the focal length to something like 20 and also we're gonna increase the current aperture to something like 3.5 as you can see it looks great now we're gonna change the frame rate to 24 okay so first we're gonna animate our camera so for that i'm gonna place my camera right about here and then we're gonna add a transform keyframe as you can see that we have this transform then we just gonna click on this add keyframe button as you can see we have this keyframe at a zero frame put the timeliner over here then i'm gonna move my camera a little bit forward over here we're gonna add another transform keyframe now if you play the animation as you can see that the animation is not linear so we're gonna have to make the animation linear so for that we're gonna select both of these keyframe and then right click and we're gonna change the cubic auto to linear now you can see that camera looks great also we're gonna increase the timeline length so i'm gonna zoom out a little bit by the way you can hold control and with the help of scroll wheel you can zoom in and zoom out so i'm gonna increase my timeline length to something like 192 and also increase the camera cuts and also place the keyframe right about at 92 as you can see the animation looks great now also we're gonna animate our windmill so for that we're gonna select the windmill fan just like that and drag and drop this over here and also we're gonna have to make sure that the gizmo of this windmill is in local as you can see that right now it is in world so we're gonna change it to local just like that then in the sequencer we're gonna expand the transform tab and then rotation tab so first i'm gonna move my timeliner at zero frame rate at zero pitch i'm gonna add a transform keyframe and then at the end of the timeliner i'm gonna change the pitch to something like 360 and then again we're gonna add the transform keyframe then make sure to change the interpolation of these to linear just like that now if you play the animation as you can see it looks so beautiful okay so the environment is ready now we're gonna render our shot through movie render queue so for that first we're gonna have to enable movie render queue plugin for that we're just gonna go to edit plugins and then over here in the search bar we're gonna search movie render queue and we're gonna have to enable both of this plugin just like that and then make sure to restart your engine then also make sure to save everything okay so after starting i'm gonna open my main level and then over here i'm gonna open level sequencer then also make sure to go to camera mode okay everything is great now we're gonna click on this render icon over here just click on it as you can see now we have this movie render queue tab so we're gonna click on this unsaved config now we're gonna do some basic settings for the rendering because this is a stylized environment so we don't need any photo real or really high quality rendering setting first we're gonna delete this uh, jpeg sequence and we're gonna click on this plus setting icon and then we're gonna add anti-aliasing and then again click on this setting icon and then we're gonna add png sequence now we're gonna select the anti-aliasing and then we're gonna change the temple sample count to 32 and make sure to enable override anti-aliasing and then we're gonna expand this advanced tab and we're gonna change the render warm-up count to 120 and also engine warm-up count to 120 then in the output tab you can change the output directory if you want and also output resolution and also you can custom your frame rate to something like 24 or maybe whatever you like you can also change the resolution if you want for example you can change it to 4k just like that and then after changing these settings then you can hit accept 
and render local thank you so much for watching till the end if you enjoyed this don't forget to like and subscribe and if you are looking for more tutorials be sure to check out my youtube playlist see you in the next one